Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. A lot of questions re resulting from all the videos I'm putting out on protecting yourself from nuclear radiation. Um, I'm doing this, yes, because of the Russian situation, but not really. What's going on over there? Um, I, when the go our government speaks, I try to do the opposite because they have a, a history of just lying, not telling the truth, and not looking out for my best interest. So, doesn't matter what's going to happen over there. I, I am more fearful for a surprise attack on the U.S., and it doesn't have to come from Russia. It doesn't have to come from China. It can come from North Korea. It can come from Iran. Uh, it can come from these countries also being helped by either China or Russia. So to me, it doesn't matter. I can't change that. I just can prepare for what would happen. A lot of people have asked, Dave, what Geiger, Geiger counter should I have? I want to sort of s slow down people. If you don't have food and water and the basics, Please get that. That's more important than a Geiger counter. Um, get your food, get your water, make sure you have at least a shotgun or a pistol, a rifle, something for self defense. And then go from there. But for you guys and gals that have been prepping a long time and, and you haven't uh, filled this niche, and this is a niche item, it's not one of the top 10 I would recommend. But I guarantee you, if something happens in this world, they'll be sold out on Amazon within 30 seconds. So if you want to beat the rush, and have a little bit more peace of mind. And this is peace of mind for me. Uh, I have an actual Geiger counter. It's an older Geiger counter. Uh, it's put back right now. I can't access it. And I don't want to access it right now. But I don't, I, I do trust it. But I don't trust it as much as these. Uh, you've probably seen these. These are nuke alerts. Basically what it's gonna do is these things have been around a long time. They have a good track record. Basically, it's going to measure radiation. You don't have to do anything. You can put it on your keychain. You can see that. You put it on your keychain. I don't recommend putting it on your keychain. This is something I, I have two of them. I store them in here. And then you put this in an ammo can or something that's EMP proof. I don't know how EMP would affect this, but I assume it will. So I just protect it anyways. I have two. Why do I have two? Let's hypothetically, I have to leave the shelter. And my family's there, that way they can have one and I can take one with me to monitor what I'm doing. Now, this is different than a dosimeter. I, I personally do not have a dosimeter. Our volunteer fire department has some or, or the county has some because I've trained with them. Um, and they're all from probably the 60s. You know the big orange, or excuse me, yellow boxes? Those are good Geiger counters, but they're so old. Um, I, I do trust them. But I don't trust them, if you understand that. How well were they maintained in our county level? Uh, are they certified? Have they been recalibrated? So I don't have one personally. I would rather have this. This is newer technology. Now, what does this do? What it does is it monitors radiation. It's on all the time. You can't shut the thing off. To tell that it's working, put it next to your ear. And every little bit, you'll hear a tick, tick. That means it's working. When it goes off, it will be a much louder tick what you can hear but still you have to it, i don't know if i would hear it in here but if i had a worry it would be out of this box because this box is so so sealed up and it'd be in a safe place i don't carry down my keychain for one reason this is a life-saving device and i throw my keys around my little guys grab the keys i do not want this damage i want this in prime prime shape so I don't put it on my keychain I don't carry it with me it stays at my house now if I went to a trip where I'm crossing state lines I would probably take one for sure but normally it sits in this container the reason I have two like I was saying is I can leave the shelter and they could have one still at the shelter also I will be making sure if my son deploys he will take one of these with him so he will know what's going on because I don't trust the government uh, the mission, they won't tell them the truth until the mission's accomplished, and then maybe by then it's too late. So, you're basically going to hear chirps come out of here. The chirps, the closer together, you'll count the chirps, and then you'll look on the back. It will give you how much radiation you're receiving and how long you can stay in that environment safely to get uh, up to a certain threshold, uh, 100. Now, 100 won't kill you but I sure don't want to be exposed to any radiation. So you just count the chirps and that will give you in days or in hours where you can stay in that environment. So this can be useful. If you're out and you, it starts to chirp, that means get home, get to a shelter, get to a safe place, take this inside the shelter with you. If you're in a, like a public building, this is important because you're gonna be able to tell where the safest spot in that building is. 
there, in, even in a shelter, there's going to be safer spots. So use this as you're in that shelter. If it's a public shelter, if it's just a big building and other people have joined you in there, like an apartment building, take this thing and walk around. It gets If you get really close to one side, the... The, the underground basement or shelter or inside apartment that's inside, you know, with many apartments over it and many on the sides, and this starts chirping, move around in that area to find the safest place for your family. So, I hate recommending this because I know so many people don't have the basics, food, water, shelter, security. So, uh, I'll put a link, it's an Amazon Associate link. I only get, uh, I get no money if you buy this other than the Amazon Associate link. Um, but I believe in this product, um, and I do want you protected. Now, does everyone have to buy? If you live next to a buddy and you both are preppers, maybe one of you buy this if you're both next to each other, or you split it. Say, hey, let's buy one this month, and then maybe in a few months we can each buy another one, and then I can have one and you can have one, and you can share it. I know for a fact that a lot of my neighbors don't have this. So this is vital to me because if I'm in my shelter, I can figure out when it's safe to come out. It might only be safe to come out for a few hours to do something. That way I can make a round to my neighbors and say, hey man, get back in your shelter. It's really not safe. Or hey, it's time to come out of your shelter. We can come out and do a few things. So this is technically not really like a Geiger counter where you push the button, you can see the gauge or you can hear it chirping. Most of the ones you get on Amazon, are made to get so low level they're not made for nuclear war they're made for like testing food testing water testing other things um, they're so very sensitive those will do you no good in a nuclear war because they're going to max out immediately and then that unit's going to be worthless so check it out if you can i'll put a link on it uh, if you got any questions about it uh, put them in the comment section thanks for watching